So when we look at geopolitics, we're often thinking in the realm of the economic, the political, the social, or even, you know, in the military. But at Stratfor, we have a methodology where we look at both the compulsions and the constraints that each individual nation or region faces. And that's where technology comes into play is within the constraints. Nations have things they must do and things that they can do. And technology acts as a tool to overcome constraints. Um, and it has throughout history from sailing ships to the uh, cotton gin, um, technology has helped industry or nations become more efficient. Um, and then science supports technology. Knowledge of basic science support then allows technology to develop and grow. So that's how they all sort of interplay together. We monitor technologies in a number of different sectors. They range from technologies that impact agriculture, like gene editing, to technologies that impact energy consumption, so battery technology for energy storage, new renewable technology, improvements to hydrocarbon energy consumption. Then we also look at how manufacturing and the industrial sector is changing, be that through robotics or automation. Um, basically, we look for technologies that if implemented, have the ability to change how nations behave and act and to change the status quo. There are so many competing and, and nuanced factors that go into the development of a specific technology. There's dozens upon dozens of moving parts. Um, we're looking not only at the, the fundamental advancements that occur in a laboratory, because there are numerous um, breakthroughs and discoveries that never make it past that initial phase. There's something that's often referred to as the valley of death in, in technological development, where you have a, a great breakthrough, but it can't get to the commercial phase because it can't get funding, or there are constraints in the manufacturing or the scale-up process, and often, there's not, because these technologies are often new um, and developing, there's not the knowledge base there to know when those constraints are going to exist. So we still don't know a lot. And it is that unknown that makes it so difficult to predict which technologies will truly become the commercial and, and geopolitical game changers of the future.